So I started studying embedded systems because I was really into building toys myself. You know, I'd, I'd get be able to buy these little circuits and program them, and all of a sudden I'd, I, there was a thing that I now had access to. And as I started studying more and more about embedded systems, you know, the things that I actually started caring about were no longer just the toys. It was the actual deep technological questions behind what is a sensor? How do you gather data from multiple sensors? How do you deal with these new data streams? How do you miniaturize things? How do you power things? My research focuses on how do you gather data from a huge amount of sensors. Other students in the lab kind of focus a little bit on how do you build these small little sensors and put them all over the world. And my interests fall a little bit more in once the sensors are out there, how do you make decisions based on large amounts of data coming at you pretty quickly. So even in Ann Arbor, when the power goes out, DTE still calls you and says, hey, is your power out? And DTE needs this information because it helps them understand what part of the grid actually went down and localize the faults. Most utilities can figure out you know, the massive outages, but it's, it's this household level monitoring that no one has. And if they had this data, it would help them allocate their limited resources. The project I'm working on is called GridWatch. And this is an attempt to try to measure power outages using um, unmodified smartphones. And it works simply if your phone is charging and then it stops. Maybe that was a power outage. It probably wasn't. You probably just unplugged your phone. Um, but we can use the sensors on the phone to try to figure out if it was a normal unplug or it represents an outage. And then in the cloud, we could corroborate lots of phones um, that think that they might have sensed an outage and get some further confidence and, and get a better signal. There's been some real industry engagement with this work. We're getting to the point where it feels like we might actually be able to put it out into the world at some meaningful scale. It's hard to know exactly what my plans are for the future. I think I'd like to find myself in a situation where I could take ideas that I think matter and really be a champion for them. Um, and graduate school has let me experience that.